This story is called Where the Wild Things Are by Morris Sendak. At the end of this video, we'll do a book review. This means we'll say what we think about the story. Did we like it or not? What did we like about it? And how many stars would we give it? Let's have a better look at the cover of the book. I can see a very strange, unusual creature. I've no idea what kind of creature it is. He is sitting by a little lake and I can see a boat and some lovely trees. I can also see the title of the story, Where the Wild Things Are, and the name of the author and the illustrator, Morris Sendak. Here is the back cover of the book. It's unusual because it doesn't have a blurb written on it, so we've no clue about what is going to be in the story. We'll have to read it and find out. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Max said, be still and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him, and it was still hot. The End Now it's time to do our book review. Remember I asked you at the beginning of the book to really listen out for the words and look at the stories to help you do the book review at the end. So the first thing is, how many stars would you give this book? Maybe you'd give it the full five if you really liked it. Or maybe you think it only deserves one or two stars. 
Would you recommend this book to a friend? Do you think your friends or maybe someone in your family would like to hear this story too? Thumbs up or thumbs down? And the last thing is, why did you like this book? Maybe you liked the pictures. Maybe you liked the big adventure that the boy got up to. And all the amazing animals that he met. Maybe you liked the words of the story. That's up to you.